In today's video, we're going to use ChatGPT to make sense of the CPI report that was released earlier this morning. The CPI report was released before the market opened, and what I'm looking to test in today's video is can we use this simple piece of AI technology to analyze what is traditionally a fairly dense report. I'm not sure many traders actually read this report in its entirety compared to just getting the takeaways from media, from articles, news articles, news uh, headlines, Twitter, etc. So in today's video, instead of relying on other people or other resources, let's see if we can use ChatGPT to paste in this report and have it give us a very easy to read bullet point list of takeaways that then gives us the key pieces of information we care about. Now, first off, before we dive into running this, let's take a look at the volatility that presented itself when the report was released. We had fairly large wicks on both sides. This is a chart of the Dow. And after that, once the markets opened, we had volatility kick inside of the marketplace, taking us straight inside of our volatility box levels. In fact, we had a setup we knew we can take advantage of with our extended Keltner channel wedges, our volatility box zones, the oversold signals, and we also had a momentum cross with the three and the eight EMA crossing above one another. So across the board here, this was a setup that we could take advantage of, but you were blinded if you had no idea what actually happened with the volatility that preceded the open. This is the hour before the market opens, the volatility that presented itself as a result of the CPI report. So let's now come inside of the report. This is directly from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and I'm going to copy and paste the relevant pieces into ChatGPT for it to analyze for us. We're going to ignore the table, so I'll start with the very top here. Paste this inside of our form field down here. And come back to our report, keep scrolling down, and we'll copy all the uh, pieces of information below the table as well. Now, ChatGPT does have a text limit. So I'm going to stop here right before the sampling error, which I think gives us the key pieces of information of this report. So we would have then highlighted this top portion along with each individual component, food, energy, all items, less food and energy. I'm going to paste all of that in here. We'll scroll to the very top and we need to give ChatGPT a command for what we want to do with this information. I'm going to say, summarize this CPI report into an easy to read bullet point list highlighting the key takeaways. Let's see what ChatGPT gives us when we press enter here. Now, right off the bat, it's telling us that the CPI for all urban consumers decreased by 0.1% in December on a seasonally adjusted basis. This is the key headline you probably heard floating around. In fact, if we come into Forex Factory and look at the headline here for the CPI index, you can see that as the tagline for this article. So ChatGPT so far in that first bullet point already gives us that piece of information. Now next up, we can see that the index for gasoline was the largest contributor to mon uh, the monthly all items decrease, offsetting increases in shelter indexes. This is another thing that was touted all across the board today, at least on Twitter, referencing the shelter index along with gasoline. Now we can also see what happened to the food index, the energy index, and it gives us other pieces of information as well, which you can read by pausing the video and taking a look at the individual snapshot. Now, in the interest of time, I'd like to keep probing ChatGPT further to see what pieces of information we can uh, garner from this, where the AI does a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Let's ask it a question, for example, uh, based off of this CPI report, what would you expect to happen to the S&P 500? Let's see what ChatGPT tells us. So it tells us the overall inflation rate has decreased by 0.1%, which should have a positive effect on the stock market. It's just the economy stable, which I think this is missing uh, some major context here, but we can ignore that. We also have its uh, disclaimer almost that I think ChatGPT tends to add, where it tries to hedge in terms of picking one side or the other, where here it's hard to say what the long-term impact is based off of a single report. So we can see it's trying to play both sides there. It's a little bit more fair. This AI is actually very interesting to play around with. Now let's keep digging a little bit deeper into this. We'll say, what does the CPI report generally tell us about the economy? 
what should I be paying attention to in every report? Let's see if uh, the AI has any sort of context around the CPI report. So here we can see it tells us the changes in price of goods and services. It's used to measure inflation. It's released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics on a monthly basis. Gives you basically a TLDR sort of approach on what the CPI is, how to use it, what the level of inflation uh, that's measured is based off of, what are the individual components, and now it's even telling you what you should pay attention to. The overall level of inflation, the changes in price of specific goods and services, year-over-year -year changes, gives us a better sense of trend of inflation, and of course, we come right back to the hedging of other indicators, other reports as well. So hopefully, through this video, you're getting an idea of how uh, ChatGPT can really help you with understanding and digesting some of these reports that we have a tendency of seeing very so often, where typically most traders have had to rely on other pieces of headlines. Instead, we can use ChatGPT to give us a condensed summary of what the takeaway should be, where we get it directly from the source, and we can then start to interact with that information a little bit as well. I hope you found this video useful. For those of you playing around with ChatGPT, it's definitely a cool piece of technology, and I'd love to hear more about other applications that you're using it with, uh, specifically to the field of finance or trading, or even the economy with reports like this. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.